here I have a pack of cards. I'm going to run through the cards like this, and I want you to try and see and remember one card from the inside. But not the Ace of Spades, that's way too obvious. Try and see one card from the inside. Now I know the Ace of Spades wasn't your card, but visualise your card. See it right here. My name is Alfred G. Watton, and I am The Illusionist. First here on Vale Radio across North Yorkshire on DAB Digital Radio. Thanks for joining us, and uh, well, thank you very much indeed to uh, somebody that's going to be joining us in just a couple of seconds, and that is Alfie Watham, who's going to be joining us. I always say your name wrong. We'll uh, we'll speak to Alfie in just a couple of seconds. Right now, this is Coldplay. Bell Radio Breakfast, Chris and Jane, good morning. Thank you very much indeed for making us your number one radio station to listen to this morning. And we're joined by magician extraordinaire, you like that, uh, Alfie Watton. Thank you for joining us. Woo, morning. Good, morning. Morning. Good, morning. good morning, guys. How are you yeah. doing? Uh, so then, uh, let's let's talk magic. Uh, what have you got for us today? Perfect. Well, I've been on your show before, Chris. Yes, I have indeed. We've done numerous things before, haven't we, Jane? Mm-hmm. But today we're going to attempt the biggest illusion that we've done so far. Potentially oh. the biggest illusion of my life that I've done so far. All right. Okay. You blew so, me away last time, so... Well, I've got to try, try, I'll try and top it. I'll try my best. <laughs> uh, no pressure. Okay. Um, here we have a piece of paper <clears throat> and an envelope yeah. and a Sharpie pen. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do, Chris, is do a drawing for me. Now, even though we've met before, yeah. this isn't set up or prearranged. I haven't told you what to draw or anything no. like that. This is completely up to you guys. Okay. So you're you going know to... that you can't draw anyway. <laughs> <Yeah. so. laughs> Just something simple. Uh, I'm going no to... Van Gogh. <laughs> do a simple drawing. Um, I want you to fold it up. Seal it inside the envelope. Yeah. Then I want you to sign the front of the envelope so we can confirm it's yours and date uh, the seal. So you know, if we can't open it, you would see that it was being opened. Okay. okay. I'm going to give this to you. You're going to do it. And in, I'm going to go away after you've done this. And in seven days, I'm going to come back with a prediction of my own. So I'm going to go away for seven days, have some thoughts, have some ideas, put myself inside your shoes. Come up with what I think you might I have drawn. I don't think you can fit. <laughs> no. But the idea is to, to think about what you might have drawn Come back, and then with my prediction, and then seven days later, we're going to open both of the predictions live on air one week from today on the 18th of December. Okay. So when it comes to the drawings, does it have to be intricate or anything like that? Or very simple drawing. Very simple drawing. Whatever comes to mind. Here's the, the envelope. Yep. Here's the uh, piece of paper. Okay. Here's the Sharpie. Yep. I'm going to leave you guys um, to it. I'm going to come back in one week, and we're going to make some magic happen. Okay. Oh. Let's do it. Perfect. Best Probably. of luck. Marvellous, thank you. Best All right. So Alfie Watson. Short and sharp. <laughs> and there he goes. That's it. He just pops in and pops back out again. So for this trick, we're going to a local cafe shop in York. I'm going to take a random deck of cards. The spectator will take any card they like, sign it and bite down on it in their mouth. I will do the same thing. I'm going to hold hands and then some magic will happen. Check it out. Alfie, that's me. Hannah, have you seen magic before, Hannah? Uh, not in real life. No, on TV, Dynamo, yeah, Darren Brown. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Thank you. Perfect. Um, just like that, we've got a deck of cards. All different. Okay. Very cool. And uh, I've got a pen as well. Can you take the pen? Yeah. Uh, uncap it for me. Perfect. And we'll take, we'll take the top card for now. Uh, two of diamonds. Okay. Can you give me a signature? Yeah. Right across the face of the card for me. Perfect. So just like that. Very good signature, actually. Yeah. Uh, cap with the pen. Um, I'm going to ask you to just make it a little bit strange. I'm going to fold up the card like this. Okay. Okay. Once it's clean, can you bite down all the cards? Put them off and bite down. Keep it like that. Perfect. I'm going to take the next card, the King of Clubs. Okay. Okay, you're right. Nice and good choice. Okay. That's my name. Your name on the Two of Diamonds. My name on the King of Clubs. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. Oh my god, that's so weird. Has that got my signature on it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so weird. 
Um, I don't know, it's a bit, yeah, it is. You've got to describe as much that. Yeah, that's so, what the hell? That's really weird. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Michael had appeared. Without doing any canoodling, <laughs> managed to get... What? That is really weird. It was in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's my card. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> so, how did I get started with magic? When I was about five or six years old, my father bought me a magic set as a gift. Now, I started performing for family and friends and busking on the street for basically anybody that would watch. Now, flash forward a few years, I was a YT finalist on Britain's Got Talent in 2012. And for the past couple of years, I've been travelling, performing magic in five countries, the likes of Simon Cowell, Anton Deck, uh, David Cameron, parties, weddings, private events. But now in this show, I'm taking my magic to the street, performing in York, where I'm from, performing real magic for real people. My name's Alfred G. Watton, and welcome to my world, where anything is possible. So for this trip, I'm going to be walking up to a random person in the city centre, asking them to just think of a playing card. Then they'll reach inside their pocket and the card that they just thought of will be inside their pocket. Real people, real reactions. Check it out. Very simple, we've got a packet of cards. I'm here with... Is it Crooked? Yeah. I'll think that's me. Crooked. Can you just think of a card? Think? Just uh, look at me right here, just think of a card. Get one in your mind. You got one right now? Yeah. I want you to drop the card that you just picked in your mind. It's a show yeah. And keep saying it over and over again in your mind. Over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. Now we've never met before, have we? You're not an actor or a student. I've literally just walked with you on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Can you reach into your pocket, please, right there? The new one. It's right there. Get out. <laughs> 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 you Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we showed me King of Hearts and it was actually in our handbag. There was a video. There was a Yes. In my pocket and that's it. And that's my pocket. That's creepy. For this next illusion, I'm going to borrow a random coin, make it vanish in my hand and reappear on the spectator's body. Welcome to York. Check it out. So we are here in a lovely restaurant bar area with the French Jack. Um, we'll try something, now we know each other, but this isn't set up or pre-arranged in the macro or speech. Um, we've got to change. Coins, nerves, and all. 15 bucks? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So the idea is, um, you see how it falls down like this? Okay. That's just gravity doing its work. The hard part is making it jump. Okay. <laughs> Actually it falls upwards like that. I'm trying to get more out of your hand like this. Um, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Can you feel it like, like this? Yeah, yeah. Like, like this. Like jumps. Like <laughs> shoulder. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's try this one. <laughs> if, I, if I take it, I'll feel it like this. It jumps back. <laughs> and one last start. One last start. Uh, squeeze. Squeeze my wrist. Yeah, nice. No? <laughs> You've got a, a glove in your pocket, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, is it here? Inside. 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 Uh, do you want me to change? So, 10 p's, 20 p's? Um, yeah. If you don't want the tea, probably will. 5 p's, 10 p's, yeah, anything will work. Well, that's a change. Uh, let's keep that in your hand like this. Yeah, very good. And uh, like this. I don't want some more. Uh, I'll tell you what, we use, we, use, we use a ten, it's bigger for the camera. It's easy to see. Um, let's try this. Just make, that's your coin, just check it out, make sure it's not special or anything like that. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Um, let's try this. Let me come round this way so I can get your like in the centre. Can you hold out your hand like this? So here's the idea. Yeah. Um, if you squeeze your hand to me, squeeze it. Yeah. Very good. Open it. Now you see when I squeeze here, your hand, relax your hand. So your fingers going to squeeze up when I squeeze here. So what's going to happen is you're going to squeeze and I'm going to squeeze and it's going to be double the strength basically. 
Okay, very good. Okay, then, fine. Squeeze it tight, 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 tight. tight. We'll squeeze here. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Just like that. One more time. One, two, three. Perfect. Keep it close. So you took out a coin. Mm -hmm. You hold on to it. We squeezed it. I squeezed it as well. It might not have worked, um, but very slowly. Just open up your hand. Have a look at the coin. Ah, yes, it works a little bit. Have a look at the coin. Yeah, yeah. It's bent. Yeah. It's <laughs> is that bent all the way, or is that just a little bit? It's, that's quite bent. It's, 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 hold it up to the bent, camera. Yeah. Show the camera. <laughs> that's definitely got a bend on it. It's on both sides. Yeah, yeah. Literally, just put the coin in my hand, and uh, there was some pressure. And when I opened my hand, it was bent. So that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah. It's a bit like a chocolate card. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a chocolate point it's been <laughs> kept in your yeah. pocket. <laughs> Trick. I want you to imagine that you're thinking of a name, a place, a number, something that I possibly could not know of. We're going to sit some people down, ask them to think of their favourite things, and I'm going to read their minds. Check it out. Hi there, Alfie. Perfect. And you can confirm that we've never met before, have we? I literally just pulled you off off the street and said, do you want to see a quick magic trick? And uh, you were very kind and said yes. Thank you very much for that. I want you to think of a friend's name. Somebody that, you know, a very good friend of yours, but somebody that I definitely wouldn't know. Yeah. Okay, could you just hold out your, your hand like this? Perfect. And just think of that name. See the letters right here. Keep thinking of the name, keep saying it over and over again. I've never met this person before, have I? I don't know this person's name. This person, family member or friend? Friend. Friend, okay. Imagine that person is walking through those doors right now. They walk up to them and you say hello, and then you say their name. Say your name, that name in your mind. Keep saying that name over and over in your mind. Over again, that they walk in, you say hello. It begins with an E, doesn't it? Yes, you keep saying that name. Visualize that name right here. Eileen. That's right. Eileen, yes. That's right. <laughs> St. Paul's Religious Bookshop. I'm here with Alex, Alfie, and Tom. Tom, Tom perfect. And we just pulled you guys three, you know, actors yeah. or stooges. You have no idea what's about to happen, do you? No. Perfect. <laughs> Good sign. <laughs> um, I'm going to try something very simple. I want you two to walk around the bookshop together, okay. and I want you to look at any section. For example, we've got children's books, we've got Anglican, we've got Christian classics. Okay. I want you to remember the section name, and I want you to remember the book as well uh, okay. in that section. So, uh, remember, for example, children's books and um, the Christmas Journey Starting Book. You remember those two different sections together. Don't say anything out loud. Please take your time. Um, you take about a minute or two minutes. Walk around. And also don't finish um, on the area you're going to finish on because I don't know, obviously. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay, so take your time. Have a look around. Um, go together and decide on one in your mind. And when you're happy, just come back. And I'll look at this wall the whole time. walked through the bookshop, you thought of a book section and a book. Mm -hmm. Now you've got this book in your mind, you've just literally walked through, thought of any book you liked, you haven't told anyone, yeah. okay, you haven't wrote it down, you haven't um, you know, given it to one of the crew, okay. So you said you wanted to do something new? Yes. Put your bag down a second. Yeah. yeah. Would you take off your coat with that one? Yeah. <laughs> Darren Brown, Dynamo, I've watched a couple of on TV.
pool skipped a bit. Imagine saying the word just in your mind, saying it over and over and over again. Okay. Do you remember the name of the book? Yes. Yes, okay, okay. Keep saying it over and over and over again in your mind. And that's more than one word, isn't it? Yeah, it is more yeah. than one word. Yeah. Imagine shouting that word. Shout the word to me right now in your mind. Just shout the word. It's three words. Yes? Yeah, yeah it's three words. Um, think of a letter um, Think of a letter towards the beginning, but not the first letter. Towards the beginning, not the first okay. letter. It's a H. Um, no, but there is a H in there. There is a H. There was an E you thought of. Yeah. Yeah, H, E. Um, she who is? That's the one. That's the one? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on to it. <laughs> Can you just explain to the camera what just happened? Um, just went round the bookshop. Picked a random book, um, went for this one in the end, and out of all the books here, managed to pick it. So yeah, it was really good. You know, when most people see a magic trick, their instinctual reaction is to try and figure out how it works. But in reality, magic is not about card tricks or coin tricks. Magic is much more about that feeling that you get inside of you when you actually see the effect happen. That art of astonishment, that brief moment of childlike wonder, where nothing is impossible. Today is the 18th of December 2015. We are outside Vale Radio. I am back seven days later after one week and I have my prediction right here. Uh, inside this envelope I have the drawing that I've wrote down which I think Chris has drawn over the past seven days. We're going to go live on radio, open them both up simultaneously and hopefully some magic should happen. Vale Radio Breakfast, Chris and Jane across North Yorkshire on DAB Digital Radio. Thank you very much indeed for turning us on this morning and we are blessed with the return of Alfie Watton. Morning. Morning, guys. How are we doing? We're well, <laughs> waiting with anticipation. Waiting. We are indeed. So just to confirm, Chris, one week ago yep. I was in this station. Um, I gave you a piece of paper, an envelope and a Sharpie pen. You did. Uh, I asked you to do any simple drawing you liked, whatever came to mind. You drew that, you sealed it up, you signed it, you dated it, and for the past week, it's been in your possession. You haven't tampered with it. No. No one's got near it. No. None of my team have just touched it. No. no. Perfect. And it's been inside your pocket. You've kept it very safe for a week now. Yep, absolutely. Perfect. Now, over the past seven days, I've gone away. I've had some thoughts, I've had some ideas, I've had some dreams. I've tried to put myself in your shoes, in your perspective, and tried to figure out what Chris would have drawn. That's not an easy task. No. no. It's, it's been no. in your brain. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I mean, it, the chances of me actually getting what you've just thought of, um, obviously one in a million. Um, but, you know, we give it a try. I've got my envelope here. This is what I've done over the past seven days. I've signed it. Uh, I've dated it, which stays out, the, the 18th. Yep. Yep. So one week ago, the 11th, the 18th. And hopefully some magic should happen. So you get this that you've been... Yeah, yep, yep. perfect. Let's yep. out. This is yours. This is mine. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Different dates in there. So, we show the... Back. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to try this. <clears throat> oh, God. Tell you what. Um, Jane, you hold on to this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's shaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, don't open the, the drawings yet, but just break the seal. Nice. Break the seal at the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Break it like that. Perfect. And, you, and do the same, Chris. Okay. I'm shaking. Okay. Seal, yep. The seal is broken. Yeah, the seal okay. is broken. There's no going back from here. No. Perfect. Um, and just place one hand in, so grab it, but don't pull it out yet. Both you. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, don't. You know what he did last time? It was bad. This yeah. is by far potentially the biggest illusion I've ever done in my life. Um, I'm live on radio, so it adds yeah. to, the, to the tension. Um, <clears throat> there's no going back from here, so uh, without further ado, guys. Let's see what Okay. <laughs> no! Oh man! No. Oh, do you know what? That is even. Look, I've even got little ripples. Look at it. All right, granted, mine's a bit smaller. Yeah, but uh, he knows you so well. He <laughs> does. Class. He's got the flag and that is absolutely wow. amazing. What? Wow. Wow. There we go. That is just brilliant. That is absolutely it's phenomenal. Drink, Chris. Sorry? Is it a specific drink or is it just uh, it's wine? Wine. Yeah, I've got drinks. It's wine. I don't drink me beer out of those glasses. No, come, on, on, no, no, come on, no, no, no. come on. <laughs>
Well, that is absolutely phenomenal. Well done. That is just... We don't know how... how look at it. 